All right, so we're back on Red Feather Falls, and today we're going to be doing some elk hunting. Now I'm going to show you the route that I like to use for elk on this map. So basically, I'm going to fast travel up to this tent here, and I like to walk, I kind of loop back just a little bit, and then I like to walk up here, turn, and just come down here a little bit. And then I like to fast travel back down to the lodge, walk up this trail a little bit, and if I'm feeling extra ambitious, I'll go all the way up this ridge. Right to the end up here. So we're going to start that and see if we can find some big elk. Alright, so we've got our first bugle from a bull elk. And I think that's him right there. He's not very big. But there might be some more with him. But just quick, I want to go over. So we're just right here, we're getting our first bugle. But now if you don't have the tent here, I before I put that tent there, well I had that tent there, then I removed that tent there, then I put it back there. But anyway, when I didn't have a tent there, my alternative route, I would just walk up through here and maintain the exact same route. So the tent really isn't necessary. So if you don't have the tent, you should be all right. So we're gonna call this elk into bow range because ideally I'd like to take him with the bow. He's pretty chatty, but it does look like he's alone. I'm gonna call him a little closer and then we're gonna take him with the bow. So it would appear that our elk wasn't alone after all. Seems he has a friend who's a slight bit bigger than him. Now groups of two bull elk are pretty uncommon. So I'm thinking there might be a third. And I'm hoping there's a third. But so far it doesn't look like there's gonna be. Which is interesting. But it could be a big one hanging way in the back. So you never know. But for now we'll take these two out with the snake bite. And if by the time both of them are down nothing showed up. I'm just going to assume that it is just the two of them. Let's take our first elk. And down he goes. Now we've got a little bit of distance between him and the other one. But he's coming in now, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be a third one. Which is unfortunate. Alright, he's just about in bow range. We'll pop up with the bow as soon as he starts walking again. Which will hopefully be soon. There we go. I'm seeing a cow elk up there, I think. Yep, just a female. So we don't really care about her. So we're gonna pick these two up and see if we can find some more bulls. Just a little 88, and this one's probably about 170s, 180s, I would think. Maybe 160s. Nope, he's 183. So pretty good. Now let's go see if we can find some better bulls. 
because those ones are pretty small. And looks like we have another below. Now this one also looks to be alone, which is interesting. Now we got pretty lucky right off the bat, but the rest of the stretch was pretty quiet actually, surprisingly. But we have found another elk, or bull elk I should say. I did run into quite a few cow elk on the way over here. But they're not really what I'm looking for, so I left them alone. But we have run into another bull. Now he's still not the size range we're looking for. Although he does look a little better than the ones we ran into before. Yeah, his score estimate, his minimum is 40 points above that bigger one that we already shot. So that's not too bad. At least they are getting bigger. So we're going to bring him in a little bit closer. And then I'd like to take him with the bow again. Alright, so he's approaching bow range. I'm going to let him get a little closer because I'm going to take this one with the long bow actually. And once he starts walking again. And we got lung blood on him. But it looks like we're going to have to track him. He shouldn't go too far. So yeah, he said he's <laughs> words. They get hard sometimes. He's headed in the right direction. So following him isn't gonna hurt us at all. We'll see if we can find a few more. And if we don't hear any more bulls in a little bit, we'll fast travel down to the lodge and see if we can get some bulls down there. And then we'll walk up to that ridge and see if there's anything up there. And there's our bull elk. So he's looking like he's probably going to be 240s, 250s. So a fair bit better than that last one that we shot. And we just got that right lung. 242. So about what I said. Now let's see if we can find hopefully a bigger bull elk than that. I'm going to walk up here just a little bit further. And then I think I'm going to go fast travel down to the lodge and see if there's any bull elk down there. And then walk up towards the river and then up that ridge. So we'll see if we can find anything up here. And then I'll head down there. Alright, so for some reason we had like a ridiculous female spawn. Like I was seeing cow elk left, right, and center. But we weren't getting any bulls. Even the two groups of bulls that we did find. One was a lone bull and one was a group of two. Which is really odd. I don't know what was going on there. So I reset the server. And hopefully we can find some better bull elk on this server. Because the last one, I don't know what was going on. So let's restart our walk and see what we can find. Alright, so this new server is already treating us better. We've got... A bull elk there, and looks like he's got a friend there. And I'm assuming there's going to be more than two. And we found these ones even quicker this time. We've gone a whole 80 meters from the tent. So we're going to keep looking. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a third bull. Yeah, there's three there. There might even be two more. This might be a group of five. But we'll call these in the bow range, and I should be able to take all five of them, because now that I'm seeing a fourth one, I'm going to assume there's a fifth. Because groups of four bulls are rather uncommon. Well, he doesn't want to show up just yet if he is back there. So, I mean, well... This one here is already just about in bow range, so we might as well shoot him. And then I'll wait for the other ones to catch up to him, because they're a little bit further back. Whew. 
Silence. Night night. Mm, I'm still only seeing three. Oh wait, there we go. There's our fifth bull. And none of them are very big. Which is usually pretty typical for groups of five. You usually don't have a big one in there. They're all 200 range or smaller. But it's a good looking group of bulls. So I'm not going to complain. This one group already has more bulls than I saw in my entire walk on the last server. So let's take this one out as well. Down he goes. Now I might have some issues with these two here. They're pretty close to each other. And it doesn't look like they're going to get any distance from each other. Yeah, and that one spotted me. Oop, there they go. Well, looks like I intestine shot that one. So I'll go track him. I'm not too concerned about spooking the other ones, because they weren't what I'm looking for. They were pretty small. So we'll go find that one that I hit, and uh, what I assume was the intestines. And then we're going to go see if we can find one with the nicer looking rack. Because we've yet to even find one with the big boy rack. So I'll start tracking that, and then we'll see what else we can find. But so far the server is looking pretty good. Okay. So it wasn't an intestine shot. Looks like we hit him right in the back of the leg. I can't quite see the arrow. Okay, yeah, there we go. Once he comes up from behind that rock, we should be able to see where that arrow hit. It looks like it's planted fairly firmly in this rump, but clearly not enough to get any intestines, so we're going to have to shoot at him again. Yep, yeah, I guess that's not an intestine hit. But we'll call him in. There's another bull up there from the same group. I'm not sure where the third one that ran off is. But he's not with his two friends here. And there goes that one down. Now this one should come into bow range as soon as he starts walking again. Come on. Don't be shy. Hmm. He's not too fond to come into play. But looks like he's going to. And down he goes. So let's pick them both up real quick. And then we'll get back on our route and hopefully find some elk that are a little nicer. Because these ones are all pretty small. Well, I guess brutally average is probably a better way to describe them. I think this one here was a little bigger than the other one. But I, uh, I actually didn't even check the score on the other one, so I, uh, I'm not even going to know if he's bigger. You guys will, but I won't. Let's just see. The other one was 200-something. This one... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He's decent. Brutally average. Let's go find one that's a little better than brutally average. Well, that is a piebald cow elk. Now, I haven't been having any luck with the bulls, but... Well, at least I'm having some luck. I, I can't find a decent bull to save my life. 
Not at all. But this is a good thing. Wait a second. Is that... Okay, never mind. I saw the weight on this thing and I thought maybe there was a second piebald there. Alright. So we got a little bit of luck. Just for fun. I think I'm going to take her with the 10 millimeter. And she's down. Now let's go pick her up. And we'll take a nice picture of her. Yeah, she's pretty nice. I mean, they look nice. Obviously, she's uh, not going to score all that great. Or at all. Yeah, she's not going to score at all. But, oh, I hit her in the neck bone. I thought I was a little bit more in this area. But, if it works, it works. We'll take a trophy shot of her. Alright, here's our trophy shot. She matches the dog pretty well exactly. Looking at them standing beside each other. But here's our picture. Actually, I want to get the dog. There we go. That looks nicer. We'll accept that. And I've got plenty of rare Roosevelt cows, so she's not going to make it into the lodge. Alright, so that's it for this hunt. I'm honestly not sure I can recommend this route, to be honest, after that hunt. Man, I saw so many elk, but just... Like, I shot so many of those 200 range bull elk that didn't make this video, but not a single one that broke 280. It was ridiculous. So, maybe I'm just unlucky. But, nah, the spot didn't treat me all too well, but it gave me a nice piebald in the end. So I'm not complaining. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway, and I'll see you in the next one.